Hello, and welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are back once again to bring you a roundup of showbiz news, a fun look at things from the internet, and a life lesson. Now it's time to say hello to the man who has admitted that he's never stroked a cat before. It's Mike. That's not quite what I meant when I said pussy. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I've been leafing through the pages of the internet to bring you some fun bits. And I found a new way of picking your next holiday destination. And I have some hot showbiz news, including the possible return of Patsy, Patsy Stone. Ooh. You can keep in touch with us on all the usual social media sites. Just search for at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us do this show as a podcast, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your favourite podcast app. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name bobbing along, well, stroking along the screen right now. Silence! Bring back my girls. This isn't RuPaul's Drag Race, Mike. Huh? Who? What? Hey? Oh dear, he's having one of his episodes. Speaking of embarrassing things that happen every show, it's time for the... Game of the Week. The producer is a bit distracted this week. He's had his hand in a sling from where he overexerted himself while rehearsing for a leading role in a West End musical where he's playing the part made famous by Shyam Tipol. He's been learning the words to If I Were a Rich Man and says a limp wrist isn't going to stop him fiddling with a live orchestra six nights a week and twice on Sundays. Gotta pick a pocket or two. That's the wrong musical. Well, let's hope they all stay socially distanced for that. This week's game is called Show Us Your Draws, and it's one to test Mike's drawing skills. So toddle off to our art department, Mr. Benny and Roe, while I explain the rules. Mike has been given a number of subjects to draw, and then I get to guess what they are. Mike has not seen these in advance, Bearing in mind that Mike thought Picasso was a man with an itchy bum. Get it? Picasso. Yeah, I don't get it either. It's not funny. Uh, this could be fun. Mike, what is the first category? So I've got some categories for you as well, Lee, when I'm drawing. Yeah. Okay, just try and make it easier. Thank you. So this one is a place. A place? Yes. So, um... In the world. In the world. Oh, it's a flag, and I don't know flags. Is it in Europe? It is in Europe, yeah. So it's not the UK. <laughs> Greece? Uh, no. I'm just gonna say random European countries until I get the one. Um, Italy? No. Um. Scotland. Going. Um, Ireland. <laughs> sort of. Is oh. it in? Is it in the U United Kingdom? No, it's not. It's not Wales. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I don't know what you're drawing. What, what is that in there? Freezer. Freezer. Iceland. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> to be fair, if you drawn Bjork, I would have known. I'd rather draw crazy. <laughs> I didn't even think she was from Iceland, to be fair. She is. I'm sure she is. Okay. So this one is a sportsly. Oh. Um, don't know, just bolts. Man in a ring. No. Shot putting. Um. Zorbing. Yes. Is it Zorbing? It is. I was trying to work out how to make it move. <laughs> ah. 
Oh, this one's tickled his cold. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this one's a song. A song? Yeah. Something to do with a heart. Uh-huh. Unbreak my heart. Nope. Uh, achy breaky heart. What do hearts represent? Love. Okay, so that's 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 the second word. This is the first word. Love in an elevator. No. <laughs> Dirty love. Fast love. Bumhole love. Sort of. This sort of yeah. bumhole love. So it's a song. Something love. Yes. Something love. And what's this? So that's the bottom. That's the bottom. Yeah. And that's that's the front part <gasps> of the gentleman. So what's this bit? Painted love. Yes. I don't know what is more worrying that the the producer came up with that one. <laughs> you knew how to drew it, and I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was, very, that was, was a very medical grade a diagram that Mike. I know, I was quite impressed with myself for that one. Um, the other one was going to draw a bridge with smells coming off it. You know, I, oh I yes, that here. would have been very niche though. I would yeah. probably would not have got that one. Okay, so this one's a film. Okay. Porn then. Not porn. Is it a pair of boobs? That is a pair of boobs. Oh, okay. Lady boobs or man boobs? Lady boobs. Okay. Boobs in a t boobs in a tent. <laughs> Tenty boobs. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't know why that's made me laugh so much. I'm going to go with uh -huh. um, Carry On Camping. Carry On Camping, yes. Yes. <laughs> or oh, Tenty Boobs, as it was originally called. <laughs> now, this one is a pop group. A pop a poo Pop group. A pop group. Group. Yes. Okay, so... <laughs> this is a great noise, isn't it? E17. No. No. So it's, there's lots of hair here. Hair times two. Yeah. So it's the same. same. Millie Vanilli. No, it's this times two. The Cheeky Girls. No. Um. Jedward. Yes. Oh. Jedward. That's going to do giving them a slap. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good that one, isn't it? I don't, I don't, I th we might have time for one very, very quick one. If you, <laughs> you've said that before. If you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you can see if I can knock one out here. Knock, knock a quick one out. Okay. So this one is an object. An object. An object. Okay. An Easter egg. Nope. Tamagotchi. Nope. My references are not current. A gimp mask. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've been on this show way too long. <laughs> way too long. Quite, well, quite like the fact that you got the gimp mask. Yeah, I got it straight away. Well, well, thank, thanks for that, Mike. You reminded me of a young... I'm gonna, I nearly said Russ Abbott, but I won't go, I'm not going for Russ Abbott. I'm going for... <laughs> Well, thanks for that, Mike. You reminded me of a young Rolf Harris there. <laughs> you're, you're right. You're, 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 okay. Uh, anyway, don't worry because it's not long until we bring you another special life lesson. And before we get to that, it's Lee and the Showbiz News. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. 
And now we speak to the man who has approached recently to be the spokesperson for a local bakery. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. <laughs> Look out for me on the adverts for Betty's Bouncing Baps. Oh. Coming to her bus side soon. Oh, mm, oh. That, was, <laughs> that was... That was very calm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Titty the nut. <laughs> Just picture me, topless, holding my bosoms, and they've been painted like baps. All right, OK. Tasty. <laughs> significant bigger buns. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's, let's move away from my breasts and talk about something celebrity-based. Are you, are you just in... Trouser snake fan. I'd have a go. You'd have a go. I'd have a go. You wouldn't kick him out of bed in the morning. Oh no, I'd kick him out in the morning. Oh. But I'd have a go at night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well he he's he, a man. He, he he is an actor as well, apparently. Who knew? Well he appears in films. I he's say in he films. Acts in them. Well, yeah. Um so he's he's in a new film that promises to be a bit of a weepy. Oh. Of the eyes, not the trousers. So That's kind of an yeah. Eye. The film is called Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that when I actually did. It. <laughs> yeah, um, it's not that kind of film. Okay, it's a weepy one. It's a weepy it's seeping from your eye. <laughs> it's called Palmer. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's on something called um, Apple TV now. I don't. You see, because films that can't come out of the cinema anymore. Because of the road. Well, they can just don't go and no, see, can go and see them. <laughs> So they, they have to find alternative ways. So this is a drama, and he plays an ex-con called called Eddie Palmer. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> called Eddie Palmer, um, who he's attempting to kind of rebuild his life after he's been in prison for a while. So he strikes up um, an unlikely friendship. Stop it. Because it'll get weird in a minute. With with a gender non-conforming child. Okay. Called Sam, who has been abandoned by his mother. So just in Timberlake kind of like starts to look after this little boy. It looks really, really sweet. We've got a picture here of um the pair together mm -hmm. um in the film. Um so th the character kind of like identifies as he likes girl things, he likes dolls, he likes dressing up in girls' clothes. Um and it's all kind of about the Justin Timberlake character coming to kind of terms with his own sort of prejudices, prejudices, prejudices and his like thoughts about stuff. Okay. Um, there's a scene in it that, sound, that sort of kind of goes, they're, they're watching a cartoon mm -hmm. and there's like princesses and stuff on it. Um, and Justin Timberlake says to the little boy, there's things in this world you can be and there's things you can't be. So they're talking about watching a mm -hmm. princess cartoon. And he goes, how many boys do you see on that program? Mm -hmm. And the little boy goes, none. Mm -hmm. And then Justin Timberlake replies, well, what does that tell you? And then the little boy goes, that I can be the first. Oh. So I don't, I don't have Apple TV. You know, I know. Do you, do you? If I say it enough times, do you think they will actually give it to you? <laughs> <laughs> no. No? No. Okay. Um, but I would like to see that because that looks, that looks sweet. It do, yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed that it looks sweet after it's been called Palmer. You would prefer just Justin Timberlake naked with his peen in his palm, is yeah. that? Yeah. Oh mine. Or oh, yours? Yeah, I'll 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 give someone a hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, put all smutty sort of smutty smutty smuts aside. Smutty smuts. <laughs> smutty smuts aside. <laughs> no, it does sound like a new kind of toy. <laughs> yeah, uh, smutty smuts <laughs> by Mattel. Yeah. Um, and watch oh, that film. Kind of yeah. If you. <laughs> Can we not promote them? Can we not see Smutty Smuts by Mattel? I wasn't thinking like an actual toy for children. Oh, a <laughs> I was thinking adult an adult toys. toy. Yeah. Oh, Smutty Smuts for grown ups. Yeah. Okay, no, let's move on to something else. Let's move on quick. So, we're, we are massive fans of Absolutely Fabulous. Yeah, I've been known to watch an episode or two. Daily, I quote. I know you do. <laughs> from Absolutely Fabulous. Um, and so Jennifer Saunders has been talking about the possibility that it might come back, but not on television and not on the cinema, okay. but in a podcast. Right, OK. So I was just thinking, like, how are they going to bring it back if it's not going to be on TV? <laughs> the podcast. The podcast. Yeah, yeah. So she says that she basically, she thinks about the characters all the time and she kind of wonders what, they would be like in lockdown. I've got yeah. a picture here of what what you know they could. So this is this is Dawn and um, 
No, it's not Dawn. It's Jennifer. The thin one, not the fat Jennifer one. Jennifer Saunders. <laughs> I'm going to say Patsy Palmer. What is happening? It's not Patsy Palmer at all. It's Dawn French and Patsy Palmer. Patsy Palmer. <laughs> it's Dawn French and Joanna Lumley. For it's God's so sake, nice. right, get it right. It's not Dawn French. It is not Dawn French. <laughs> It's Jennifer Saunders <laughs> and Bianca from EastEnders. What is happening? Um, <laughs> so that's the that's who they play. That's, so, that's this is what they could possibly now look like okay. in in lockdown, which is from one of the series where they kind of went into the future. So she's saying that that, that they would could legitimately come back in a podcast, which I would listen mm -hmm. to. Okay. Um, so that so Abfa was on television from 1992, mm -hmm. four or five series. Then they had the 2016 film, mm -hmm. which I quite liked. Did you see it? I did like the film, yeah. yeah. I'd quite like to hear them on a podcast. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd, I'd tune in on occasion. You'd tune in on occasion. But it's sad because June Whitfield wouldn't be there. That's true. She's dead. She's dead. Yeah. Um, I was being I was being more sensitive <laughs> about that. She's dead. She's um, dead. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that, that would be something to look forward to. Is um, Bubble still with us? Jane Horrocks? No, she hasn't died. She hasn't died. <laughs> Who is it that's died that looks like that I always get confused with her? Is it is it the one out of Vicar of Dibley? That's the one. Okay. I always get those two confused. Yeah. No, Jane Horrocks is still alive. Okay. The Vicar of Dibley girl is dead. <laughs> Ooh, dark. Okay. Now now this is a, a topic that is very close to my heart. The glitter. No, it's it's well, literally is the same. It's Kylie Minogue. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I love a bit of Kylie. Oh, she's looking pretty. Oh. She, so not only, right, has she just last year released an album called Disco, which mm -hmm. is amazing, and ended up being, she ended up becoming the first female solo art artist to have a number one hit album over five successive decades. Okay. Should be more impressed by that. Is, has Madge not done that? No. Not even, not even Madge on Anna. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, she's not even done. So, um, so she's done all that and she's done like virtual shows and stuff mm -hmm. because obviously we can't do proper concerts and things. Madonna's just sat in a bath moaning about stuff. That's all Madonna's done during lockdown. Uh, She'd be very wrinkly. She's just sat in a bath the entire time. She's literally sat in a bath of, of, of petals going. Bath of petals. I like it. <laughs> um, whereas Kylie's been grafting. <laughs> So, sorry, but don't sat in a bath full of petals going, I don't like it. <laughs> Get out then! <laughs> She's it. She's <laughs> what are you doing here? I don't like this. I don't like this. This clip, like... the clip, you have to see it on the internet, is Madonna in her bath, right. not just of petals. Right, okay. There is water and then petals on it. Oh, okay. Okay. Or unless it's skin that's peeled off her that's floating Scales. on the surface. Scales. <laughs> um, <laughs> scabs. Um, and she kind of like does talk, she kind of like talks about the state of the world and stuff. Okay. It's a bit cringy. Um, just do some music and shut up. Wear an eye patch. <laughs> yeah, fall over on the stage. Yeah. Whereas Kylie's released an album, she's done an online concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, there is a musical coming. Oh. A Kylie Minogue jukebox musical. Jukebox musical, so they're just going to put a jukebox on stage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we should be so lucky. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair, I would pay for that. I would just right. go and do that. Yeah. No, a jukebox musical You're is the only like... the first I know that bought the Kylie wine that doesn't drink. You know, just don't <laughs> <on> the shelf. <laughs> Stroke it. Um, so there is going to be a straight stage production okay. featuring her back catalogue. <laughs> her glittering back passage. <laughs> How have we gone from I don't know. <laughs> previous work she's done to a <coughs> shiny arsehole? <laughs> That's the opening. <laughs> <laughs> that really is a show. Oh, dear yeah. me. So, yeah, so they have apparently, they've fleshed out, um, <laughs> they've come up with a kind of story about what it's going to be about. The reason it's taking so long is because over her career, she's worked with lots of different songwriters mm -hmm. and doesn't have the permission complete permission to, yeah. for all of the songs that have been written by other people. So that's taking a while. Um, okay. But she's kind of like saying, she, she's, she's teasing it. She's like saying, I don't want to tell you exactly what's happening, mm -hmm. but it, it may well happen. Um, the songs are going to be... Uh, see, 
It either will work fantastically, mm. like We Will Rock You or Mamma Mia, mm -hmm. or it'll be hideous like the Spice Girls musical that they did, Viva Forever, that it's like... What was wrong with the Spice Girls musical? It wasn't good. It should have been good, but it wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've, I've got a picture of who, who she... Who, if she was going to go down the route of multiple Kylies mm. playing on the stage, mm -hmm. I've got a picture here of what I think she could go down the route for. Drag queens. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Possible. Just have a hologram of Kylie Minogue in the middle. Uh-huh. And then just have drag queens performing the songs. I'll pay for that. But again, you, you'd pay for anything about Kylie. I'm yeah, sure I've, I've seen you yeah. buy a bag of her breath. Breath? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I didn't say breasts. No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no, because, you know, we're in the times of Rona. It could be, you know, another five years before we see it. Okay. But, you know, it's something to look forward to, Mike. For you. For me. Yeah. Which is, you know, what we're dealing with. Yeah. Okay. That's the end of the showbiz news, Mike. Well, thank you, Lee. I still can't get the image of Kylie Minogue's backside out of my head, and it's glittery. But coming up soon, we have our life lesson. Before that, we have Mike in the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man whose birthday gift to himself is to tickle his taint more. It's Mike in the buzz. To quote Oliver, more? More? <laughs> I know it's probably sort of wafer thin by now. <laughs> but... <laughs> wafer thin, it's gone see-through. <laughs> yeah. um, so I've had a rummage around the internet. Pushed my face against the window of, of the World Wide Web and oh. had a peek inside. Drooled. No drool. No drool. Oh, dry chin. Dry chin. Dry chin. Dry chin. Dry chin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I found some fun things. Now, for 2020, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a bit of a poop year. It was indeed. Okay. Um, have you got any mementos from the year that you kept hold of that was a good time? From 2020? Yeah. Just my sanity. It's just sanity. But that was, that's barely there. I think you kept that. <laughs> yeah. In a small crystallised box. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Um, well, Josie George has created something iconic, which is a weather scarf. Okay. And what she's doing is every time the temperature was at a different temperature range, mm -hmm. she would use a different coloured wool. Okay. Okay. And do two rows. So she's got this beautiful scarf, right? of all the different weather from 2020. Okay. Yeah, it's a three metre long scarf. Way too much time on her hands. Way too much time on her hands, <laughs> yeah. Right, 2020 was a bit of a poo year. We couldn't do anything. Yeah. This person's used some time productively. Yeah. To be fair, if I, if I sort of applied the same sort of idea but to go into the fridge, oh, yeah. I would have a scarf <laughs> that went round the country about 15 times. <laughs> So it's quite a big one, but you can see where it starts off quite cold at the beginning of the year. Yeah, it's warmer and warmer. Blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I thought that was very clever. It is very clever. Yeah. Good luck wearing it. Yeah. Okay, I've got some celebrity news now. I'm kind That's of. My... I know I'm kind of sneaking Ooh. in. I'm kind of sneaking in, but it's also about rugby players. So there's no way. Oh near, so. no, I don't know anything about them. No, no. Uh, well, a rugby pro called Devin Ibanez, right? has come out as gay and in love. Gay and in love? Gay and in love. Oh. Yes. Um, and he said, I have decided to embrace what I have felt embarrassed of. Which one is which? The, the, which big, is the... the big burly guy. With the, with the long hair. With the dog, long hair. Big bushy yeah. hair. Yeah. Oh, OK. The, the big beefy guy. Beef. Well, not not the skinny little right. one. Skinny little one. Yeah. Judging. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's average sized, but compared is, to us now. Is he Welsh? Um, no. Or am I stereotyping he's all stereotyping rugby everybody players? Everybody that plays rugby is not Welsh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but he has got big arms. Rugby players tend to, though, don't they? Yeah. Which I thought is uh, one of the first um, rugby players to come out while still playing. 
Oh, Because, of course, Gareth Tom Thomas came up afterwards. But it's basically, uh, Devin's basically turned around and said, look, I'm embracing who I am. I'm not going to shy about it. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it and just be open and honest. I think well, good for him. Well done him. Good for him and good for his meaty arms. His meaty arms and thighs. And uh, thighs. Good legs too. Crush you. Crush the yeah. breath out of you. Well, we can hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and I've, I've managed to find something that was a little bit more scientific. Okay. okay. Um, geology, the study of rocks. Yes. Right. Look at you glazing over already. And for a second, until you explained it, I was like, is that geography? No, it's rocks, yeah. <laughs> geology is geography. What is it? It's ground. Geography of rocks. Yeah, there you go. That's how you built your link. <laughs> um, well, the, the world can sometimes make, make some very pretty things with rocks. So... I think about crystals. Diamonds. Diamonds, yes. Mm. Um, I was thinking more like crystals, like so when you open up a, a amethyst and stuff, and yeah. geodes and yeah. all that pretty stuff. Do you have any of that sort of stuff at home? I have, um, I have two bookends that are made out of... <laughs> stop laughing at me, because there is a story. The, <laughs> I have two bookends that are made out of um, like a, a, a rock that has been split in two, and then they've been polished, and the inside is all pink and glittery. Okay. I don't know what kind of rock it is. It's That's just you. nice. It's pretty. Pretty. Yay. Pretty. Yay. Right. Um, well, the amazing geologist shared a picture amazing. of an 18 inch tall amethyst from Uruguay, which I thought was very pretty. Nature's got a humour, hasn't it? Nature's got a sense of humour. Why? Why is it looks like a dill. That's like you, a dilly. You see that, that beautiful natural rock formation thought of a dildo. Yeah, immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Or, or one of those um, sort of like... <laughs> <laughs> one of those, one of those microphones from the 70s. <laughs> Stop doing hand movements, please. <laughs> like a what, sorry? One of those... One of those, one of those can't do it. <laughs> can't. One of those microphones uh -huh. that, you know, they were in taxi ranks. They used to press the button and go... Uh, taxi number 25, okay, okay. row, please. Yeah. No idea. No. no. Um, I think I was close when you are doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that would hurt Lee, because it's, <clears throat> it's stone, so it'd be sharp. Mm. You don't want to use that as a dilly. No, but there's a, there's a niche for everything, though, isn't there? There's a niche kink for everything. But there is, but that's, that's dangerous. It is dangerous, and I do not recommend it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Rip your ace. Rip your a-hole into pieces, that would, wouldn't it? it? It would shred you. And if something pops up and gives you a cheeky wink, either give it a little stroke or share it with us. Just give us a tag using the Could TV on all of the usual social media platforms. There's nothing quite as satisfying as having your box so full it's fit to burst. No. And that brings us to the story of the week. When you're deciding, when, well, when you can decide where you're going on holiday, should I say, um, where do you think you're going to go? Somewhere nice and warm. Somewhere nice and warm? Yes. Like Bogner? Cottonwall? Um, I don't know. Stop questioning me. <laughs> 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 no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Um, I want uh, Italy. Italy? Yeah. Okay, that'll be nice. Yeah. And how did you make that decision? Because they make pizzas. <laughs> and ice cream. An ice cream. Yeah. 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 Um, well, you can now decide where you want to go based on what kind of sexy time you prefer. Uh -huh. As a well-known dating app, I say, I say dating app, um, Grindr reveals which countries have the most tops and the most bottoms. You're not talking clothing. Yes, there's, we're talking about Grindr has worked out where the most people wear things on the tops and how many people wear jogging shorts. No, it's, it's sexy time related. Given receiving. Yes. Yeah. Um, so would you like to know where you could go? I know where I'm gonna go. It's like a barren wasteland in the <laughs> desert of sadness. <laughs> where I'm going. Do, do you have to fill in a little questionnaire thing, an online thing? So yeah, they, they've worked this out basically by the people that use it and putting their preferences. Okay. Yeah, so I know it's been a while since you've used a networking application. If ever. If ever, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but basically you say what you're looking for and what you're into. Okay. So if you're like into like nipple play, yep. water sports, mm -hmm. cuddles. 
Yeah, in that order, yeah, yeah. They will then tell you where to go in the world for that. That's not quite how it works. It's just looking at the tops and the bottoms. Oh, just, I'm thinking way too much, aren't thinking I? Thinking way too much. You can get more specific <laughs> niches when you're in the right country. Um, but Vietnam, Ooh. Sweden, Thailand, Peru and South Africa. Bottoms. Bottoms. Yes. Why did I think that? <laughs> it works, doesn't it? That's weird, very, it? that's very, um, what do they call it? Nation stereotyping, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, but <laughs> the, the Nigeria, where gay sex is illegal, okay. right, is one of the highest pop proportions of tops. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, you, you, you're looking into that, are you? Mm -hmm. Your uh, next holiday. Uh, well, no, because it's illegal to, to go there. <laughs> However, um, Nigeria are, are behind only Monaco and India. Oh, okay. So more tops in Monaco. And of course, that's where the money is. Yeah. So I think yeah, I'm for my next holiday. Yeah. Sit there, sit there wafting myself. Yeah, and, and you could like bite on a really silky, nice quality pillow. In... How would I be biting on a pillow? Because you're a bottom. I don't bite on pillows. Gotta let Saying. the neighbours know you're up to something. Saying. <laughs> Egyptian cotton? Ooh. No. Leather. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, but apparently South America is definitely the destination for people that are averse. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you're up for anything, um, South America, um, Vietnam, Venezuela, Guatemala and Argentina. Where does England fit in? Where, where are we? What are we? Um, it, it doesn't tell us, because it's oh. about holiday destinations. I don't really want to go on holiday to England. Yeah, but somebody in, in America might, you know, want to come and get ravaged in Britain. OK. Um, let's see. United States. Uh, so, Britain has the second highest user um, of online networking apps. Oh, OK. Um, but it doesn't tell me, it doesn't tell me where England comes. And that's the end of the buzz this week. Well, thanks for that, Mike. I I, I feel fulfilled, mm. both front and back. Um, coming up next, we have our life lesson. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Good. Now, I have to apologise in advance as it's now time for this week's. Life Lessons. With lockdown and the continue, are we in, are we out, are we in, are we out, are we in, are we out? Are you shaking it all about? You do the hokey pokey, turn around, right? Um, you could be invited onto a Zoom call at any moment. Any moment. Any moment. So I'm saying, well, we need to Day do or night. Call, right? And what happens if you're invited to a Zoom party? Are there such things? Yeah, yeah, I've not been to a Zoom party. No, I feel left out. You're basically getting drunk in your own living room with other people oh, in their okay. living room getting drunk. Naked? No, it's not that kind of party. OK. It's not, not, not <laughs> camera sexy time. This is just like friends gathering and drinking and pretending you've gone out. OK. So, of course, you'd need something to wear. Yeah. I don't know about you, but over you know, the past lockdowns, I put a bit of timber. How very dare you? I'm a size zero. Always have, always will be. Okay. Um, you know when, it, when a size goes, ooh, oh, that's not a river. <laughs> Denial is just not a river yeah. in Egypt. So you need to go out to the shops, but you can't go out to the shops. Oh. So you have to suddenly come out with an, an outfit. Okay. So this week, we're going to make outfits for going out when you're staying in. Okay. Okay. Now, I, I have got some, some leggings, so compression wear for sporty people. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, you don't look excited by this. I ain't getting my chunk into that. <laughs> okay, so for you, we have some bin bags. Oh, much better. <laughs> much better. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to make an outfit out of bin bags. Okay. They're for you. Oh, selection. And I'm going to make them out of, out of compression leggings. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Do you want to go first? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, so um, do, you do yours first then? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a shame because it's your turn first. Okay, so I shall I shall unclip myself. Okay. <laughs> and I shall move into the green screen area. You, you can go. You go. Move oh, into your boudoir. Into my ready. boudoir, my dressing yes. boudoir. Your dressing boudoir. Okay, <laughs> I shall do that. Okay. I'm in my beautiful boudoir. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it luxurious? Mmm. So, like Mike said, we're, we're, we're going to try and knock up something to wear with things that are just kind of lying around the house. I'm not squeezing my carcass into any spandex. I'm going for the next best thing. Bin liners. So get yourself, you know, they're lying around the house. I've you know, black, purple, pink, blue, silver. Oh, smorgasbord of colours. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and attempt to make myself a a ball gown um, out of bin liners. Um, I haven't practiced this. I've not even looked online. <laughs> People do quite often say to me, get in the bin. Um, and I'm literally going to, to, to fulfill that dream for them. So, I'm gonna, you know. Are we, Mike, are we, are we, is it, is it an evening time? It is evening, look, you're going, you're going out with your friends, remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. But you're doing it from home. But we're doing it from home, right? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for something slinky. Oh. Um. <laughs> you go for what? Slinky. Oh, not slinky then. Yeah. There's only so much. So, yeah, I, I have, I have threaded bin liners together. And I'm gonna, gonna, so imagine that I haven't got a top on. Don't get too turned on. Not gonna happen. So I'm kind of gonna go for that um, J-Lo, share type, you know, thing. So they're covering my, my, my boobies like that. And then um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a belt thing. I'm concerned thing. about you, you know. Hmm? Woo! Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zhuzh it up with some, oh, scented, yeah. What, what scent is pink? I think these are, are these like pedal bin liners? Uh-huh. And the question was what fragrance are they? I don't, rosebud. Oh, rosebud. Yeah. Nice. Mm. And, and I'm just gonna make some bows. <laughs> So there's a bit of pink. Uh-huh. Wait, the boys and girls wink. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for lilac. Ooh, they smell of lavender. That's what you want, this, isn't it? A sleepy time bin bag. Yeah. Or what's that thing that sometimes people do? Is it auto-erotic asphyxiation? I don't know, Lee. What is that? Is that, that, is that where people um Kind of suffocate themselves while they're jobbing off. While they're jobbing off. While they're jobbing, yeah. Be nice to have a nice, nice to have a bin liner that smelled nice while you're doing it. <laughs> while you're jobbing off. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> this is beautiful. Uh huh. It's yeah. a look. It's a look, yeah. Um, so obviously, if I if I was going to go for the full look, mm -hmm. I would make a skirt. Like a bit like a hula skirt. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I'll go for just a finishing off. You know, finishing off in a bin bag. I'm finishing off in a bin bag. <laughs> Available on eBay later. Highest bidder. Get some baggages. But I often think to myself, my parents must be so must proud. Be so proud. So I've made like, kind they, of like... They, they um, don't go out with you in public anymore, do they, parents? <laughs> I've made like a little fascinator and I'm just going to pop that. There. Beautiful. You're good to go. Yeah. So it's time for me to get ready. I have my compression wear ready. So, this is less effort than these. I just need to get into the compression wear. 
Well, I'm intrigued how how this is going to become an evening look. So I see you've gone for the, gone for the two legs in one. Yes. Yeah, so you look. so you have to put two legs into one one leg. Okay. Does that not make movement slightly difficult? No, because once once you're in, you're in. Once you're in, you're in. Once you're in, you're in. And you can just steal across the floor, flap, flap, flap. <laughs> Um, it's an evening wear look. It's not supposed to be comfy. Okay, what are you gonna what are you gonna do with that? And then this goes over your head. Over your hair? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take my glasses off. <laughs> See, this is sexy. It is. Oh. Like a like a foreskin bean. <laughs> It's a human penis. I, I think, think so. There we go. Oh, that's that's restricting. <laughs> it is. Oh. oh. There we go. And I have a lovely evening wear look, you oh. see. Let me just make a phone call. <laughs> Hello, is that the sexy police? <laughs> We've got an incident right now occurring in the studio. Oh, mm. get here quick with lube. <laughs> Just to get him out of it. Yeah, just get me out of it. Okay. Nice. So, shall I come and join you? Oh, please do. Please, please, please can we film you making your way from the boudoir? I have never been more turned on. Can you breathe? Just about. It looks like it's strangling you. It's it's a little bit it's a little bit tight around the neck. Oh, we 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 best hurry up and finish the show then, haven't we? But you know it. But that, but that brings so that, it's, it's it brings a dimension to the, to the look. Yes, but it's, it's that kind of evening wear that's a little bit restrictive and a little bit sexy. Yeah, sex. yeah. You know, sometimes I think that I have I have I have shot my dignity watch <laughs> completely, and then we do something else. And I go, no, <laughs> then, I still have a modicum left. And then I, I open my mouth, and this sort of thing falls out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we hope we, we hope we've given you some lovely tips for your Zoom Ooh. lessons. Lessons, or don't wear these when you're giving lessons to children, when you're having a party with your friends. Yes, yes. Um, it's evening wear. <laughs> evening wear. Well, we have come to the end of the show for now, but if you can't hold out for a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Cud TV on social media, thecud.tv for our website, and while you're on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips and online outtakes. And like the one person on the Zoom call who's not bothered getting dressed and is sitting there in a night in rollers, it's time for our Fruit of the Week. Stay safe, and we will see you all next time. Bye.